What's up everybody? Um, welcome back to my sneaker channel. Um, I haven't made a video in a very long time, but I thought it was only right to start off with a sneaker collection. Uh, I've got a lot of new shoes since I stopped making videos and uh, my collection always changes up, man. Like uh, I sell shoes all the time, I buy shoes, you know, different things like that. So it's just shocking how much my collection changes up. I uh, already got rid of a pair of shoes already this year in 2019. Uh, I sold my Jordan 9 uh, Space Jam. Man, so I thought it was only right to just show you my small sneak collection. Uh, it's about 25 shoes. I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, you get to see what I got in my collection. start off with the shoe that I wore today uh, just got off work it's a dress it's a dress shoe uh, I don't know what the heck this shoe is called uh, floor sheen type of shoe I keep it up it's a floor sheen type of shoe uh, or brand shoe uh, I got this from Marshall really good deals $100 worth um, but I got it for about uh, $50 so really good shoe shout out to my guy really he found it we just found these because actually we was going to a party and we thought I had to have on dress shoes instead of sneakers. And I only packed sneakers when I went home back in Chicago. So um, we found these on the fly. But I wear these a lot to work. So shout out to my God, brother. The next shoe, Jordan 7 Olympics. Uh, this shoe means a lot to me. Even though I'm trying to sell it, uh, it's in great shape. I bought it dead stock. But I bought it, when I actually bought this shoe, this was able to be torn apart, man. So uh, the thing, it wasn't even properly good. It was so old, because this is the 2004 version. Um, it's important that I got the 2004 instead of 12, because I had a chance to win these shoes for free at a Michael Finley camp uh, in a free throw competition. I came in second. So I definitely want to get this shoe one day. Um, but I don't wear it, so I, I might be selling it. Uh, if you see anything that you like, make sure you hit me up on IG or something like that and we can talk about the price. My next shoe is an Adidas. Now this is not heat, this is not anything that most people are bragging about in their sneaker collection. But I want to tell you that I'm going to show you everything in my sneaker collection. I'm not just going to only show you hype shoes, expensive shoes, um, Jordans, Air Force Ones. I'm going to show you everything that I wear because I don't wear those shoes every day. I actually don't wear them most of the time. That's why they all in good shape. And when I wear them, everybody asks me, are they new when they're two and three years old? But that's only because of shoes like this that I get to wear like an everydayer. And I have a few shoes that's all black that I like to wear often. Um, some people don't even know I'm into shoes until they see me out. My next shoe, Jordan 11 Space Gen. All right, now, um, my favorite 11, hard to say probably would be these space jam 11s red 11s i had those but i sold them actually that was the first shoe it's embarrassing to say that was the first shoe i ever cried about like when i didn't get my jordan uh 11 breads bro like i was crying <laughs> it was funny man that's funny <laughs> but i was crying man because i wanted those shoes so bad and um I got them. Luckily, I got them. I had a chance to get like three pair too. Because um, me, my grandmother, and my mama was in line for the first come first serve. And we was the first three in line. We could have got like three pairs. Um, but it wasn't important to me. I ain't know nothing really about reselling. Uh, people was giving me offers like, if you get my size, all type of stuff like that. And I was like, no, nah, man, I'm just being fair. I'm just going to try to get my shoe. And that's what I did. And my mom was like, no, nah, you ain't get nobody's shoe. We get your shoe and we don't. And uh, I really couldn't argue about that because I'm pretty sure she paid for that shoe. But if you see, keep on looking down. I'm still looking at this beautiful shoe, Space Jam 11. Uh, all of these shoes right here, uh, I bought them for myself as a uh, one. I think it's one in here that my mom and my grandmother bought me. But all of these I bought for myself. So it means a little bit more too. But Space Jam Jordan 11, now it's time to go on to the next shoe. The next shoe is an Air Max 95. All right, now, so this Air Max 95, I actually love this shoe. I get a lot of compliments on this shoe. 
uh, I should have took out the other shoe because the other shoe is not the exact match, right? So uh, other shoes does not have the same colors going down or on the inside. It's like all switched up. And like this inside of the shoe don't look like the other inside, the other shoe on the inside and don't even look like the other shoe on the outside. Like it's all different patterns on every side of the shoe. So all four sides of the shoe has different patterns with this army fatigue, every color army fatigue. I really think this is uh, a very well designed shoe. I like that they kept it constant right here in the front. So this yellow and green army fatigue that's constant in the front. And on the back, the pink army fatigue is constant. But the other shoe, uh, it has a lighter pink instead of this dark pink. But I really like these shoes. I think they're pretty limited. I think you can get them like near retail, but um, they were really good, man. I like these. I like these shoes a lot, so that's why I got them in my collection. Um, these are one of the shoes that I want to sell, so just let you know about that. So dress shoe that I wear to uh, church, I wear to work. Calvin Klein got these things from Ross. Uh, a lot of people think they um, like the Ferragamos. You can see that in the front, kind of look like Ferragamo. Uh, so these are really nice shoes. I get a lot of compliments on these shoes, which is like shocking. Like I just wear these when I want to wear dress, dressy stuff. But I get a lot of compliments on this shoe. Oh, you got on very nice shoes. I'm like, okay. Thank you very much. But $50 Hollis, just like the other dress shoes, I got these from Ross. Got the other ones from Marshalls. First pair of Air Force Ones, not that I have, just that you're going to see in my collection. First pair of Air Force Ones, these actually were designed by myself. Um, so on the back, you see it's the number one. On the back of the other shoe is in, uh, number 16. This shoe was designed in remembrance of all the football teams that I played for. Um, starting off with, actually, not all of them, but just starting off with high school. So we got the uh, Pirates with the blue and white. Um, we have the red for SIU, red on the inside, red on the shoelaces. And we got the yellow for Quincy. Um, Quincy University, that's a place of uh, school I transferred to, and that's where I graduated from. And that was the last time I played football uh, officially. Actually, you can't really play football outside of really real official football. So that was the last time I played football, and uh, I made this year in remembrance of that. I put the gum bottom, because that's just my favorite bottom for Air Force Ones. Um, so this is a great shoe. Get a lot of compliments on this shoe. And then when I tell them I created it, you know, it's a um, it's a special experience too. So they're like, oh man, I don't, this that's a great colorway. So I really love this shoe. Another one that is not for sale. The next shoe is the PG ones, right? So PG ones, this actually is a low key limited because um, if you know about the PG ones, all black pair came with a gum bottle. Um, I was told that finish line and one other place got the blue bottom or the clear bottom. So these are the clear bottom, even though they look yellowish now. I play basketball a lot and I always play in these. I really like these shoes. My next basketball shoes may be the PG um, twos or the PG threes. I think they coming out with the threes, but they might have already came out with the threes. I really like those PlayStation um, PG twos. So I might end up getting those. So, you know, be when you're playing basketball, you kind of feel like a kid. So, like just getting the PlayStation um, PG1s or PG2s would kind of be pretty fun. But yeah, my basketball shoe won't spend too much time on this. This is the first Jordan 1 that you guys are seeing from my collection. Uh, this is actually probably my favorite Jordan 1 that I have. This is the court purple one. The reason why it's my favorite is because I really do not see this shoe. I do not see this shoe when I'm walking around. I don't even see a lot of like sneaker YouTubers and stuff like that with this shoe. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but I, this is the only shoe I ever won on uh, Nike sneakers app. So I was really excited about that. And um, when you know like when it was happening, so it's the same day that the, uh, the other ones came out that you're going to see later on. Um, but they were saying that these are so limited. So when I won on sneakers app, I was like, oh my God, I just hit gold. Um, but yeah, they came in pretty fast and I haven't worn them yet. Even though these are my favorite, I think they're going to skyrocket. I think that the price point on these are going to rise tremendously. Um, so I'm kind of saving them and I might sell them. Because even though I love these shoes, I love money more. You know what I mean? So uh, first Jordan 1, Court Purple. Another Jordan, we got the Jordan Submit 3s, considered the best shoe that was ever, ever created by Tinka. Um, as you know, Tinka has the Nike sign that was on the original, uh, 
what do you what do you want to call it? The original design, but they decided to roll with these without the Nike sign. And I believe this is the better one. Uh, I really don't like the Tinkers. They okay, but I really don't like the Tinkers. But this is probably the best shoe that was ever made. Um, made by Jordan. Uh, that's what I would say. But I really love these shoes. I didn't care how many they said they were producing. I knew I was gonna get them. Um, I actually drove a long way, a uh, long ways away. It took me about um, three hours in the car to get these shoes. Um, so I definitely value these shoes and this is another one. <laughs> this is another one and not for sale. Got my Vans on and they look like sneakers. These are sneakers. Um, these are the only pair of Vans I have. I probably should've went with the high top. My brother always be telling me like, bro, you should got the high top. He probably right. You know, you know my brother know how to dress and stuff and that's why that's why I got like my love for shoes and clothes from, uh, even though I don't buy that many clothes because I don't like spending money on clothes like that. But overall, um, got some clean pair of Vans. Um, anytime I want to wear these, they're real clean, uh, easy to put on. So, and I wore these a few times, but it don't look like I'm warm at all. My cement Jordan 4s, um, probably the best 4s I got in my collection. Yeah, I mean, my. The reason why I said it like that, and now I just thought about it, um, is because I used to have so many fours. Like, I used to have a four collection. Uh, shout out to my boy DJ. He, said, he used to always be like making jokes. He said, I had, I think I had about like six pair of fours. I had at least six or seven of them. And he was like, bro, it look like you just go in your room and paint your shoes. <laughs> so uh, he was like, it look like you ain't got no other pair of shoes. You got one pair of shoes, and you just keep on painting them a different color. So, I mean, he was kind of right, but I just wanted to have every four. I don't know what made me, like, you know, want to have that, but I just wanted to have every single four that released. But um, I actually didn't buy these myself. This is the only shoe that I didn't buy in my collection, um, my mother and my grandmother. Um, if you know my brother, my brother has them. He had, like, the most pair of shoes I've ever seen a person have that I actually know. You know how you see sneak collections and stuff like that? And those, you don't know those people and stuff like that. Like, those people be rich and stuff. But my brother had almost, like, every pair of Jordans you can think of. Every Saturday, like, my brother was getting the new shoes. And what he would do, and, like, what, well, him and my grandma actually, like, agreed upon. Like, my grandma would go up there and get them. So, like, it would be hard for young people to get shoes. So, I don't know how they learned this, but they did. So, it was hard for, like, young people to get shoes. Like, when my brother was getting shoes. And like it was always these lines and stuff like that, and they'll turn people around. They don't care about young bloods. But my grandma, every time she went up there, she'd get the shoes. Cause like they'll take care of my grandma is 80 years old now, but she she be moving. Like she moved like she like 40 or something. But my grandma would go up there and then like they'll tell her, I right, sit down right here and wait, and then we'll bring you your shoes out. So my my grandma was like the plug of the plugs for real. So anyway. My brother had all these shoes because my grandma used to go get them. So my grandma had relationships with all these people at these uh, sneaker places. So I asked my grandma, could she get me these, right? <laughs> Ain't that something? Like, this is real. This is, you can't make up lies like this. Look, I asked my grandma, could she get me these? And my grandma went up there and she got a pair of these for myself and she got a pair for my brother. They gave her two pairs. Look, she went up there, got the pair of shoes. They told her to sit down. She waited for about 30 minutes. They brought her the other pair of shoes. Two pair of Jordans, one day. Didn't go to no different store. They knew her, hooked up. 75 year old woman at the time, maybe 70, maybe 77. Um, these shoes are uh, about three years old now, but they still look fresh. Uh, every time my grandma see me, I always like to wear them back at home. I don't know if she noticed, but I wear them back at home. Every time she sees me, she's like, those are some shoes that I got you. Like, she always loves saying that. So I wear them around her, but she's like, that's crazy how they look new, because these are like three years old. But yeah, that's my story about my grandma and how she the plug. This is another everyday. So this is the most comfortable shoe I have in my collection, and I have it easy. Um, this is the Adidas Pure Boost. I think this is the most comfortable shoe uh, over the Ultra Boost and Yeezys. Um, Pure Boost are really comfortable. This shoe, for real, for real, feel like a sock. Like, people say these other shoes feel like socks because they got this soft um, material on the top. But this shoe right here, really feel like a sock. You can see, you can see that um, 
pure boost or that boost turning black right underneath the like this is the only shoe that looked like that in my collection and i still wear this shoe a lot because i i try to get other everyday shoes like i try to get other everyday shoes but man don't none of them compare to this so i might end up like buying another pair of these these are great shoes um so yeah the adidas pure boost the loudest shoe I got in my collection is this shoe. This is the Jordan 6 Pinnacle. Um, I got this shoe on um, resale. This was um, one of those shoes that I felt like I had to have. You know, I paid a resale price for these. I did not know how easy they scuff. So if you can see that, they scuff so easy, right? I only wore this shoe a few times. I wore this shoe to graduate in. I always debate if I want to sell this shoe because I don't really wear it. I probably haven't worn this shoe in a year um, because it's kind of like hard to wear or like it's be like too loud. And then plus, like when I wear gold, I like to wear black and gold. And this is a white and gold shoe. I don't know if anybody else cares about stuff like that, but this is a white and gold shoe. So it'll be kind of like throwing me off. I don't want to wear no all white and then wear the gold. So I don't know. If you want the shoe, hit me up. I'll give you a good price on this shoe because for the only reason I'll be thinking about not selling it is because I graduated in this shoe. So it's like the attachment to that and uh, the attachment of that day and stuff like that. So overall, uh, Jordan Pinnacle 6, loudest shoe I got in my collection. Um, if it was dead stock, it'd be worth a decent amount, but it's definitely going down in value. So here you go, Jordan 6 Pinnacle. Here is the Air Force One I was talking about earlier. This is the Air Force One. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Here is the Jordan 1 I was talking about earlier. I was looking at my Air Force 1, so excuse me, and I'm gonna keep that in there just so y'all know. This is the Jordan 1 I was talking about earlier. This is the Pine Green Jordan 1. Um, Pine Green Jordan 1 came out on the same day as those court purples. As you notice, I don't have the bag on this shoe because I wore it. Um, I really like this shoe, real comfortable shoe. Uh, we don't say Jordan 1 not comfortable. I don't know what Jordan 1s they have. Every one I got is comfortable. I only got three, but every one I got is comfortable. And I had the Shadow Backboard 2.0s, and those are pretty comfortable. So I be hearing people say they're not comfortable. I don't know what type of material they got in the older ones, but this one's pretty comfortable. Shoe green is one of my favorite colors, and I really like this shoe. Um, this is another one that is not for sale. Uh, Jordan 1, not Air Force 1 1, but Jordan 1 Pine Green. Moving on to another OG colorway, right? I really don't understand, right? Somebody gonna have to really educate me on this. I be telling people, like OG colorways are like original colorways, right? But they not always the colorways he wore, right? So it's like, I only Jordan ever played in this shoe. If you know this, right? Just hit it in the comment section, let me know. But only he ever played in this shoe but it's an OG colorway. I kind of don't understand that. I just feel like all breads, Chicago colorway, playoff colorway, um, any shoe that he played in should just be the you know, OG colorway. But this is another OG colorway and I got a lot of respect for this shoe, but this is a shoe that I want to sell. Um, this shoe I got on discount. I worked at Finish Line, uh, so I got this shoe on discount. Uh, but this shoe is definitely a great shoe. It's in great shape. And um, it matches my school colors now. I go to SMU, so I do still wear it sometimes. But overall, I got a lot of white shoes, so I mean, I can let this one go. So if you want this one, I'll give you a good deal. When I say good deal, it's like 150 or something like that. And this one, I don't have a box for. So sorry for all the people who care about boxes. Um, but I do have, almost every other shoe has a box, but this one, I don't have a box for. But um, yeah. Jordan uh, 3, True Blues, hit me up if you want. I did say that the Pinnacles are the loudest shoe in my collection, but this might be the loudest shoe in my collection, but I like this shoe. I think this shoe is sexy. This shoe, is, this shoe look good. I had a pair of pink shoes, um, Alpha, I think it Alpha Bounce. I'm pretty sure they Alpha Bounce, something like that. It was pink, but they were light pink. I had those, but I had to take them. I took them back because I never wore them. So, I wore them like two times and like they look brand new. Sorry, the person who work at the stove, you know, I told them, I told them they, they like brand new. So I kind of, I did a lot, but I did, you know what I mean? Um, so these pink ones I got at uh, Nike Outlet. I always see people with the lime green, um, patent leather Air Force Ones like this. I haven't seen a lot with the pink. I have seen the pink low top, 
but not the pink high top. So that's why I got them. And I thought they looked pretty good with like joggers or something or just went with some light jeans. So I really like this shoe. I haven't worn it yet. Plan to wear this shoe um, sometime soon. You know, when it started getting a little warm outside, um, you know, I might put it on. But overall, I like this shoe and I stand corrected. This might be the most loudest shoe in my collection. My next shoe is this Jordan 95. This Jordan 95 is a shoe I actually turned the pink one in for. So when I went and returned the pink shoe um, that I barely wore, um, I actually, it was like I really tried them on, to be honest. Um, so I had those pink shoes, I took them back. I wanted to get it every day, or from what I was saying, I wanted to replace it every day of my pure boots. And I got this shoe. It's black, um, 95, all black, very clean shoe. I thought it was great to wear um, during the winter or during that cold time while I'm in Texas. Um, so it was a pretty good shoe. But this shoe is not as comfortable. All right, this shoe is not as comfortable. It would be hurting my feet and stuff. Um, so it was an everydayer. And I, for real, wore this shoe almost like almost a month every day. And this thing is still clean. Like it's durable and everything. But I had to just put this shoe to rest. So now it's not an everydayer. This shoe is just a black shoe if I want to go out and wear a clean black shoe, you know, maybe for one hour, two hours, I put this joint on, um, but this is not my everyday anymore, but I really like the shoe. We got different materials like mesh, leather, and all that type of stuff on this shoe. Uh, all black um, Nike Air Max 95. Great shoe to have in your collection. This shoe is a shoe I got for free 99. If you don't know, I actually coach football. Uh, I coach um, high school football at um, a small school in Dallas. And, you know, we had we went to the playoffs. We had a pretty good season. But we're sponsored by Under Armour. My college, my first college that I went to, uh, SMU was sponsored by Under Armour. So I knew uh, what I was in for, you know. Under Armour, they, have, they hit and miss, but they miss more often. Um, this shoe, it's kind of comfortable, not that, not not really. Even though it has like this mesh top, it's not that comfortable. But overall, uh, we got I got this shoe for as my mom say, free ninety nine. I got it for free, so I wasn't trying to complain. Um, but we had to wear these for every game and stuff like that. So that's how I ended up having this shoe, and I do see myself keeping this shoe in my collection. Um, maybe when I like want to do stuff, like when I get older, and like cut grass and stuff. And I don't know, cause I don't see my foot growing. I mean, it's not like this shoe gonna get too small but if i don't wear this shoe in like a year or something you know what i mean but i might wear it to practice next year but if i don't wear the shoe uh, i'll probably give it away like how i'm giving away other shoes and stuff like that so give away your shoes if you don't wear them give away your shoes if you don't wear your shoes give them away uh, air force one if you notice i got got a few air force ones in my collection um this one is one of those that most people I won't say should have. There's no such thing as a should have, must have, anything like that. But I do feel like if you're in a warm area and say you're not in Chicago, you're not in New York, and you want that feel, this is the way to go. Um, I'm from Chicago. I don't really buy Tim's like that, um, but I feel like this is my style of a Tim. Like if I would wear a Tim, like this is what I'm gonna put on, you know what I mean? So it got the same colorway. Uh, it's a durable shoe. I actually had the shoe for two years now. Still looks new. Um, so this is a great shoe. I really like this shoe. I know the mids are limited and cost a lot. I don't want the mids. I'm actually glad that I got this high top. Um, this is really good with the rope laces and stuff like that. So I really love this shoe. Um, this is another one I'm not going to sell. I'm just going to keep it in my collection. Because um, like I said, this is like my warm place Timberland. Um, high top Air Force One. Uh, weeks. This shoe is the only other Jordan 4 I have in my collection. So, um, DJ, yeah, all them Jordan 4s are gone, man. Um, sold them, you know what I mean? Sold those shoes so I can buy other shoes. Sold those shoes for different reasons. Um, only thing I'm left with now is my cement 4s and these. I actually traded for these, um, I traded some ASICs for these, and actually, my boy DJ painted these. But as you can see, I took the paint off, DJ. Um, I took the paint off because I want to make these look like um, wool fours, like you're putting my custom. So if you notice, this shoe doesn't have suede on it either. Um, so like these things supposed to look like the wool, um, you know, the wool toils. I wanted to make my custom. I'm making like the wool fours, 
and then I want them to look all messed up and then put fresh laces in them. Uh, when I actually put them on my feet, they don't have any creases or anything like that, even though they look kind of bad right now. But when I put them on my feet, they don't have any creases. So I actually like this shoe. And then plus I was having some fun. You know, um, the Jordan 4 uh, Retro 4's um, bread is supposed to come back out this year. So, you know what I mean? Like there's no reason to have uh, this pair and buy another pair. So I just decided to do some fun with this. And I definitely will be getting a new pair. Um, I know it's Jordan 4 Breads come out. So Jordan 4 Breads, my version, uh, soon to be custom. Working on it for a while. Hopefully one day I'll finish. Hopefully before I get the other ones. I'm down to the last three pair of shoes in my collection. Some people might feel like these are maybe the best shoes I have in my collection or their favorites in my collection. Um, one of these pairs of shoes is for sale. And that's the one I'm gonna start off with. That's the one in my hand. It is the Jordan 1 Breads 2016. Um, the band ones, even though they not the band ones, but that story is for another day. But as you can see how fresh these things is, they look dead stock. I actually just wore them one time to be honest with you. Um, so really clean shoe. Uh, only reason they're for sale is because I'd rather have something else to have these. As you can tell, I uh, already have, or as you've seen, I already have black and red shoes. I do plan to get on, uh, get those Jordan Red 4s, uh, those all red bread 4s. I don't know why I can't, he can't say that name. But I do plan to get those uh, red 4s when they come out this year. So I don't really need these shoes, and I don't wear them. So um, I know this is like one of the most valuable shoes I have in my collection when you talk about um, the price point or the value that I can get from other people. So this is definitely a shoe I'm willing to sell, but it's not gonna be a cheap shoe. Um, I definitely sell these shoes for around $400. Um, but if you wanna have them, if you want them, please hit me up. Um, this is a great shoe. I definitely respect this shoe, take care of this shoe. Um, but again, it is for sale. This is the best Yeezy 350 and it is a zebra Yeezy 350 yeah so the Yeebras well I can't can't call them the Yeebras because they call them the mid chickens Yeebras I actually had those um sold them I had the two pair of uh, the Beluga 2.0s I had the all white um uh, all white uh Yeezys the cream Yeezys I had some quite a few pair of Yeezys uh, lately but like, like I said, my collection changes so often, um, so that's why I want to make this collection video. Cause sometimes, like you guys don't even see like how often it changes. Like I might get a shoe and then sell it or trade it before I even like post about it, especially when I wasn't doing uh, my YouTube videos. So like I was definitely getting a whole bunch of shoes and selling them. Like the other pink ones I talked about earlier in the video, you guys never saw those shoes. I'm pretty sure some other Jordans that I had. I don't think I shared my mid chickens on there or the um oh, I did have a video about the creams. But like shoes like that, I don't really be showing you guys. So that's why I wanted to do this on a sneak collection video. But yeah, these are the zebras. I was gonna say zebras again, but these are the zebra uh 350s, and I believe these are the best uh Yeezy 350s that were that have released, even though it's so many that have released so so many. This is probably the best shoe in my collection. Um, can't go wrong with this shoe. Uh, I heard the story that Dr. Dre wears them every day like socks. And at the end of the day, he throws them away like socks or gives them away. And it is the all white Air Force One, low top. I am a low top guy. Some people are high top guys. I'm a low top person. And as you can tell, I have a lot of low tops in my collection. But this shoe, I chose for this shoe to end the collection because, first of all, it's like a shoe you can wear with anything. It definitely influenced the sneaker collections or sneaker game in so many ways. Like, this is where the Jordan 1 comes from. You can't tell me no different. Um, but overall, with some people might say dunk, so before y'all even say that. But this is where, like, most people started with their sneaker collection. I know nowadays, uh, with us young guys, like I'm not that old, we connect, we collect our Jordans crazy. But back in the day, Air Force Ones was crazy. Like people had crazy Air Force Ones collections, and uh, I think we are getting back to that. But overall, 
Uh, I don't think that was, uh, Air Force Ones are getting the respect that they deserve. But I do like to keep an all white pair of Air Force Ones, as you can tell how crispy those were or how crispy these are. But I've had them for almost uh, two years. Um, but I do want to pay my respect for the issue. And this is another shoe that's not for sale. But overall, you wouldn't want to buy this from another person because you can go buy it from the store for $90. So it ain't no hype shoe, but it's definitely a quality shoe. I hope you guys enjoyed my sneak collection. Like I said, I wanted to share this video with you, um, show you guys my collection because my collection changes over time, all the time, really. Um, but I'm glad I was able to do this in the early part of the calendar, early part of the year. And I'm excited to see how my collection changes. Um, six months from now, or a month, or a year from now, when I look at my new collection and look at this video, I think I'm definitely going to be shocked about what shoes I still do have or what shoes um, that I just acquired, you know what I mean? You made it to the end of the video. If you plan on seeing more videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you like what you saw, hit that like button. Your support goes a long way. I'll be posting every Thursday, so you know what day to find me. I really appreciate your support. Just keep on showing love, and I'll talk to you later.